So I recently got a brand new 7th generation iPod Touch 256 gigabyte at 900 ringgit at a recent Apple sales clearance event. It is actually significantly cheaper than its new price at 1,500 ringgit, and that's understandable because Apple has already made this obsolete. This is still a really great device in 2022 if you want a dedicated device to play music and all sorts of entertainment stuff. And let me tell you why I spent about 900 ringgit on this obsolete gadget. So I've been a really big fan of iPod since the first generation iPod that's announced by Steve Jones. I still remember that the tagline was that a thousand songs in your pocket. That's a really, really catchy tagline. Um, but even though I don't own that very first iPod because I was pretty poor back then as a student, I don't have money to buy an iPod. But my very first iPod was the iPod Touch second generation, which still works right now. It's really well preserved. It still runs on iOS 4. It's pretty cool. But I doubt it could just it could run any apps anymore right now. But you know, it's just a deja vu throwback. It's really cool to see such a small form factor that we no longer see these days. So, anyways, about the iPod Touch 7th generation. Now, this device could be the slickest music player that I have ever seen. I have actually owned a lot of DAPs back then, those thick, super thick ones like the Sony uh, NWA105 and some, of, some other uh, DAPs back then that you can check it out on the channel. I did review them. But the one problem that I I always find with DAPs is that first of all their battery life isn't great second they come with really outdated Android software and third their software isn't really reliable at times at times you just face crashes and so on and it gets really annoying after a while as for the iPod Touch 7 generation the reason why I got it is because it runs on iOS now even though this device is no longer going to get any future iOS updates because it is uh, at its final software version at iOS 15.5 which is still at this point of time the officially officially the latest version of iOS that's available for all iOS devices so it runs on iOS 15.5 which means you can still run the latest apps that is available at the App Store and play some games that is available on the Apple Arcade. I'm actually subscribed to Apple's One Premium Tier Plan, which is actually a really cool service that has all the services inside. And this is where the iPod Touch differs from the rest of the DAPs that you can find in the market right now, even for those like 20, 30,000 ringgit Astro and Kern uh, DAP players, even though those offer way better sound, but you will never get a similar software experience that is as polished as iOS 15. Now, some of you might even ask me, why would I actually spend 900 ringgit on an MP4 player that can make calls instead of just going for an old uh, Android phone that comes with a flagship chipset and some with a uh, dedicated deck inside it? So here's the thing, like those Android-based digital audio players that I mentioned, these phones no longer run on the latest version of Android and it could become an issue in the near future if you want to have uh, newer software features on your device and so on. And I'm not suggesting that the iPod Touch is going to get more awesome features in the future because it's already running on iOS anyway. But compared to Android, iOS 15 simply just offers a way better and polished experience as compared to these old Android devices. And furthermore, since I am actually in the Apple's ecosystem, I can still enjoy access to Apple services right over here, such as Apple TV+, Plus, uh, Apple Music, which offers a high resolution audio, which I really enjoy a lot. And it also works with my iPhone as well. So you might even just go for and ask, why not you just spend like double the money for an iPhone SE or even a, an old iPhone or like an iPhone 11? Well, here's the thing, because they lack a headphone jack, which is actually extremely crucial when it comes to music enjoyment. I mean, even though there are already a couple of wireless headphones out there that has very, very good audio quality and it's very close to wired headphones, you still can't beat the quality of wired headphones. Personally, I'm actually using a 300 ringgit in time Sora uh, wired headphones, which is actually a high res certified audio headphones. It's a really cheap pair and a nice pair of headphones that I recommend that you can go check out in the link below if you're interested in getting one. So personally, I listen a lot of high res music on Apple Music and the wireless headphones that I tried out were not able to produce the high res audio quality that I wanted to listen. It feels very much like a high quality MP3 sound quality to be honest. So when you plugged in a wired headphones into the iPod Touch, you can finally realize the actual high res audio quality that you should be listening to. Of course, the amplifier on the iPod Touch is not as strong as those DAPs out there of the same price range. Those are probably 
better than the iPod Touch, but I can tell you that the deck on the iPod Touch 7th generation is definitely no slouch and it can produce really, really clean sound, clean bass without any modifications at all. And the one thing that attracts me from using the iPod Touch as compared to other digital audio players out there is that it also comes with a single loudspeaker which most DAPs let out there. I mean, yep, this is a dedicated music device and sometimes it's not necessarily that you want to put on headphones to uh, view some media or even listen to some music and the iPod Touch offers that convenience with a single mono speaker even though it's not as loud as any modern iPhones or even some older iPhones out there but it still works very well and it is definitely serviceable. Now of course you also get front and rear facing cameras which is something that similar priced digital audio players do not offer at all. Sometimes I can just use it to take some simple pictures of my dog or anything if I'm if I happen to be using the iPod Touch at all. I mean of course image quality from these cameras are definitely not great even compared to the cheapest iPhone SE from Apple but I can tell you that it is way more convenient than many other digital audio players out there. Now that I've mentioned so many good things about the iPod Touch 7 generation over Android based digital audio players, what are the bad things? Well for one, the iPod Touch's battery life is not as good as iPhone. That is confirmed because as you use the iPod Touch, even if you are not doing something really heavy on it, the battery percentage could just dip like 10% like within about 10 to 15 minutes and that is actually a lot for a device like this and just like those digital audio players, they do suck in battery life as well. But despite that, the performance that you get on this thing is something that Android-based digital audio players can't match. Now for instance, I can still use this as a proper mobile web browser if I actually want to. It loads most web pages pretty well. And also when it comes to launching certain apps like games and so on, it still works way better than many other similar price Android DAPs. And I think this is one thing that makes me want to go for the iPod Touch 7 generation over other Android DAPs out there. Since the iPod Touch 7 generation uses an A10 Fusion chip, you definitely do not expect great performance out of this. Even though for basic daily operations such as browsing on Facebook, browsing a web page, it will work fine, but it will definitely not do well in gaming. So if you're thinking of using this device as a budget device for Genshin or some other modern AAA game titles that is on iOS, it will not run well and you will definitely find a lot of choppiness when it comes to running these games because also the iPod Touch only has 2 gigabytes of RAM so it's barely enough to run these modern game titles but for Apple Arcade games I would say that they work pretty well most of them they work pretty well when I tested it but I really wouldn't recommend uh, playing games on this thing because really it gets pretty hot and the battery life will dip pretty badly and also the iPod Touch 7 generation doesn't feature 20 watt fast charging like the iPhone so I think that's something really bad if it runs out of battery and you could want to quickly juice it up for some quick music and it just doesn't charge just as fast. But of course most Android DAPs at this price range do not come with fast charging as well so I think that's actually fine for that. So. To be honest, the iPod Touch 7 generation is a really, really impressive digital audio player still at this point of time at 2022. And I think you could actually find it quite affordable in uh, those used shops or probably some Apple stores that are making clearance on this device because when I actually bought this unit, there were still a lot of units um, in stock that is on clearance. So it also doesn't come with any warranty from Apple already. So if you happen to check uh, the warranty coverage, it already says that it's an expired coverage because Apple no longer supports the iPod Touch anymore, which is actually quite a shame because this device is technically about three years old and I think this is probably the short-lived iOS device ever in Apple's portfolio of devices and that's, to be honest, a little disappointing. I think Apple should really make more digital music devices just like this since they already have Apple Music with high-res audio and I know that they are going to release an AirPods Max second generation or a new generation of AirPods Pro that supports high-res audio on Apple Music. I'm definitely waiting to see that happen but as of now, nothing beats wired audio quality on the iPod Touch 7th generation.
Alright, so that's all for my thoughts on the 7th generation iPod Touch. It's a really great device that I've been enjoying it for the past 3 weeks and I'm really loving it. I use it as my dedicated music device. There's no social media apps installed on this thing. It's totally, purely just music and it keeps me away from all the distractions that is on my phone out there such as notifications and incoming messages and I really, really love it. Alright, so thanks for watching to this video. Stay tuned for more videos coming right up on the channel. Let me know your thoughts and whether you use any iPods before or are you still using an iPod Touch right now, do let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and be sure to give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw and I will see you guys in our next video.